I forgot to introduce our little mystery guest over here. This, instead of using pasta, uh, which you know has a lot of calories in it and, and uh, uh, it's delicious, no question, uh, but it, um, uh, but, but uh, from a health standpoint of view, pasta is not very good for you. This is a vegetable called a spaghetti squash. You may have seen it in the produce section of your grocery store and just not known what it was or how to prepare it. Well, you're getting ready to learn uh, all of that and all about this, and I feel that you will add this as a regular component of a, a variety of different kinds of dishes that you will make. It is, it is a wonderful uh, vegetable. When you open it up, it looks like a lot of melons and squashes where there's a cavity inside that has seeds. You take that out, and then there's a... Uh, a, 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 a kind of a, a thick layer of uh, the vegetables flesh and and then a skin on the outside uh, and uh, it's very simple to to make this we cut it in half take out the seeds and uh, turn it upside down in a microwavable dish and, and uh, put enough water in it that covers uh, the cut edge wherever you cut it that will cover up that edge to about maybe half an inch uh, above, but you want to make sure you turn your dish around and make sure that all of the edge, and what that's going to do is it's going to steam that vegetable as it cooks. You put that in the microwave. It should be done in 20 minutes. If it's not, then let it go a little bit longer. Turn it back on a uh, couple of minutes at a time until you get it. You should be able to be very careful. This is going to be really hot, but but uh, take your finger, put a little uh, 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 pot uh, pad on your on your uh, on your hand, and then just touch it, and it should go in and feel very soft to the touch. When when that's the way that it feels, it's done. the The skin will feel very leathery, but inside it will take just almost no pressure just to push it. All right, now that's done, uh, and then I will show you how to treat the uh, insides when we. Uh, um, when we get this cooked. Let me talk about this spaghetti squash a little bit more. Now, you'll need a very uh, sharp knife, uh, something that you can uh, get control of because these are, are pretty dense there and they're hard to cut. It's like cutting an acorn squash or any of those other kinds that have got, you can see how thick that, uh, that flesh is in there. That's over an inch uh, right there. That's past the first knuckle on my finger. But you can see how beautiful, kind of a light orange color in there that it is. And this is the pulp uh, that comes out. You can see it kind of looks like uh, uh, what comes out of a pumpkin. The seeds even look like a pumpkin. And this, I believe, is in the pumpkin family. So you would expect it to be like that. But you take all this out, and if you want to go to the trouble to separate the seeds and toast them, they do have a little kernel in there that some people enjoy eating just like pumpkin seeds. So. So you can give that a try. I don't do that, but you certainly could. But this is what the vegetable looks like when it's opened up. I just scraped out the uh, the insides, that pulp and so forth, and we won't put anything else in here. We don't season it. You could if you wanted to, I suppose, but I don't. Uh, and we're going to leave it like this, except when we get ready to cook it, we'll turn it upside down in our cooking dish. All right, let's look at this uh, spaghetti squash again. This one was so large, I usually use a Pyrex dish like this because it's gonna go in the microwave. Uh, and, and so a round Pyrex dish works pretty well. This is the biggest one that I have, but this was such a large uh, spaghetti squash that I had to trim the ends off so that it would sit down in, in the dish. Otherwise, I'd end up having to have too much water. So. Just regular tap water is all it takes. And basically what I've got here is I've got the dish just about half full, but if you look all the way around, you can see the edge is underwater except for right there. Let me get my Western Kentucky University glass or my wife's Western Kentucky University cup. And we'll put a little bit more water in here, make sure that the edge is covered. You may not be able to see that water line, but I can. 
and it's covered and probably around a quarter to three eighths of an inch, which is plenty because you don't want that steam escaping out the ends because it'll cook the ends and the middle will still be uncooked. And I'll put this in the middle of, uh, of my microwave. There, you've never seen a microwave before, I'm sure. So uh, this is uh, a miracle device. This used to take a couple of hours in the in the oven at a at a lower temperature to to get these things to cook. And so we'll put it in there, and we'll put this on a timed cook. And I am going to cook this one because it is so large. I'm going to put 25 minutes at high, and we'll turn that on. And uh, that little guy right there is going to spin around for 25 minutes, and we won't have to we won't have to look at them too much. Okay. Well, that was that was quite an ordeal. It took uh, 45 minutes of cooking. That's the longest that I've ever had to cook one of these uh, to get it done. But you can see, fork uh, slips in there and comes out very easily. Uh, out of, out of the vegetable so uh, you know this one this one is done and that's what you want to do uh, stop you can't worry about how much time that it takes you just have to be able to get it done so now I'm going to show you what this <laughs> what this really interesting vegetable looks like you just take a, a fork uh, and just rake it down on the inside and watch how that just shreds up into those pieces it doesn't come out it's not at all what you think uh, when you see just what I was talking about this uh, pasta just shreds up and depending on where it breaks it will make the shreds anywhere from 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 around three inches to six inches long and uh, they, it's, it's like little strands of pasta. That's what it reminds me. And it has the color of buttered pasta, if you've ever had buttered pasta. Uh, put this over here where you can see it. Look how beautiful that is. And when you pick it up, you can see it just dangles there uh, like that and uh, makes these little shreds. Uh, and it just separates and it just separates and makes such a uh, an interesting but it's a vegetable and and yet it acts just like uh, it, it acts just like pasta so uh, we're going I'm going to plate this up and then I'm going to show you what the plated dish looks like all right well there we go as you can see we have uh, we have the meal all plated up and it's ready to be served.